we're going to make custom components in sales v1. So we will start by jumping over to the assets folder and then we'll go to JS and then we'll go to components. And you can see there's already a few different components in here. The text is just really big because I'm kind of blind. So that's why I had to drag it over. This uh, stuff is like things like Ajax button, Ajax form, the defaults that come with the project. But also there's stuff like JS timestamp, modal, searcher, or modal comes with the project, but JS timestamp and searcher might or might not, depending on the version of sales you're using. We're going to make a new component called video player. So you can see that they all end in component.js. That's just made easy, that's so that it's easier to find them when you're doing like command P in Sublime. So if I search for modal, you can see it's really clear that that's like a component. All right, so video player.component.js. Um, now I'm going to copy something else. Ajax button is probably the most simple. Okay. So I'm going to change the documentation first so I don't forget. This is going to be video player. It's a, right now it's going to be a Wistia video player, but in the future we might make this a little bit more flexible and have it do other things besides just Wistia. It's a component. Um, I don't think it actually needs to have any events right now. I can think of all sorts of events that we might want to add to it eventually, but at the moment we don't need that. We're going to name it Video Player Camel Case because that's how Vue.js likes you to do it. And then we're going to kind of gut this a little bit. So we're going to clear out the props. We're going to clear out the template. Uh, we're going to clear out the methods. So heading back here, this is the uh, piece of HTML we're extrapolating. We're going to paste it in there and then we're going to make it a little bit nicer just so that we can read it. Originally we wanted to make it small, so that was totally fine. But now that we're componentizing it, we might as well make it easier to read. We need to go back here and delete this. And instead, we're going to do video player. Now we probably want to be able to pass in the video to play. So I'm actually going to bust this into multiple lines so that it's easier to read. Just because it's so fat, you know? Mm -hmm. We'll put all those together though. Cause what the heck? All right. There's our iframe. So let's cut that out. We'll make it dynamic. And what should we name that? Maybe source? Yeah. All right, so that's going to be a prop. So that's called a, a prop. It's a little confusing because they could have called it an attribute, but I, I, they call it a prop. So it's a prop. Because um, these are, you know, this is an HTML element, or like this is an HTML element, AKA tag. These are HTML attributes. But when you're referring to like this variable that's being passed into the component, that's called a prop. What this is saying is that whenever you do video player, you're gonna do like SRC equals. So that's what we'll do, SRC equals. And uh, presumably that'll work 